When you leave things unregulated, you allow the wolves to come in and game the system. Prices were skyrocketing. What if I told you that you could turn your love of wine into an investment return? Today, there is no relation between the prices and what is in the bottle. 20 grand for the bottle, and you want this. Boom, a 1019. We're talking about wine here. The auction scene really started in the 90s. The economy was booming back then. I started being aware of this kind of skinny, geeky, young guy that liked wine. We had this mysterious background. He was like the Gen X Great Gatsby. No one had ever spent that much money that fast. It was ruining the quiet little club that the old guys had. Can you please state your name for the record? Rudy Cornelwin. Stock market is down. Dow traders are standing there watching in amazement. I don't blame them. Everything with this fellow just kept coming up fake. Fake wine. In the catalog, it was already wrong and fake. When you find a fake wine, it's a dirt. The more we learned, the larger the epidemic became. FBI agents came here. There's something serious going on. I did not, I could not believe. I couldn't believe it. Some of the biggest CEOs of corporate America were duped by this guy. No way. Who created him? Hardly anybody could have done it. That can't be Rudy. Can I refill and put the cork back?